Good morning dear friends and praise the Lord this is a new day and God's mercies are new every morning and may you enjoy his grace and mercies And it is good that we uh, begin our day and our activities after listening to the voice of God just a few minutes You remember our last meditation was taken from the gospel according to St Luke chapter 12 verses 1 to 12 I've read it and I I I we meditated on that first part and that first part was it was spoken to his disciples and um, and there the main message is what to fear fear hypocrisy and today i would like to bring to you the second part of it and the second part of this teaching was to his friends the first one was to his disciples and the friend that second part is to his friends the rest of the passage i hope you have read that passage for yourself and here also what to fear it's very important and uh, there are five things mentioned here that we need to fear and our people must know it and so i hope that you will make your own thoughts and the message and teach your people what to fear number one do not fear men but God and God alone verses 4 and 5 verse 4 and 5 say and i say unto you my friends be not afraid of them that kill the body and after that have no more that they can do but i will forewarn you whom you shall fear fear him which after he hath killed you had the power to cast your soul into hell yes i say unto you fear him that is number 2 was to his uh, number 2 do not fear lack of necessities because god cares for you and this is a very important message that all of us must remember every day i should not fear of having nothing and lacking no because god cares for you and he is our provider verse 6 and 7 uh, 6 and 7 are not five sparrows sold for two farthings and not one of them is forgotten before god but even the very hairs of your head are all numbered fear not therefore so the word of the lord says do not fear lack of necessities we as god's people we have a father in heaven who cares for the sparrows and how much more he cares for his people because he cares for you and the third thing is fear the spirit of disloyalty to christ and the spirit of denying christ verses 8 and 9 also i say unto you whosoever shall confess me before men him shall the son of man also confess before the angels of god but he that deny me before men shall be denied before the angels of god now that is a very serious problem that we will face if we fear the spirit of uh, uh, if, if we don't fear the uh, spirit of disloyalty to christ and the spirit of denying christ because before people and men anyone can deny christ thinking that is only for a moment and when i go back i will again Uh, be loyal to Christ no that is not acceptable you need to be bold 
enough to take a stand for Jesus Christ be loyal to him even in death so fear the spirit of disloyalty and and fourthly fear the unpardonable sin verse 10 the unpardonable sin is a sin against the holy spirit now many people have this question what is this unpardonable sin against the holy spirit jesus himself taught us that anything we do against christ and all will be forgiven but the sin against the holy spirit what is it unpardonable if you look at the context of it the pharisees and sadducees they were telling that jesus christ was casting out demons with the uh, with the bigger demons that is in other words what were they doing by saying that they were attributing the work of the holy spirit to the devil because how was jesus casting out demons by the power of the holy spirit it is the work of the holy spirit according to jesus and only the holy spirit can do it casting out demons and they are saying they were saying oh he is casting out demons by bigger demons that is unpardoned any work of the holy spirit not only we should be able to distinguish what is the work of the holy spirit whether work done is of the holy spirit or of the flesh or of the devil we need to we have guidance in the in the scriptures how to distinguish between a, a bad spirit and evil spirit and god spirit so never you may not understand you may not even approve but never speak about it as the work of devil the holy spirit the work works of the holy spirit you should be able to distinguish it and so when you speak against the holy spirit's work by attributing the work of the holy spirit to the devil that is unpardonable sin and uh, the lastly do not fear persecutions and trials persecution will always come for christians and jesus himself said anyone who anyone who is godly will be persecuted if you take a stand for jesus today especially you will be persecuted but you must be bold enough because you ha- have been convicted of sin and convinced that jesus christ is the savior the only savior and therefore you believed in jesus now you have peace you experience practically what that forgiveness forgiveness can give you peace and a great living hope that you have eternal life and that's how you follow christ and never never fear therefore persecutions and trials because the holy spirit empowers you verses 11 and 12 you may be arrested you may be brought before authorities and here god is promising jesus is pro- i mean uh is promising do not worry about what you are going to reply to them and what you are going to tell them the holy spirit will at that moment give you the words to speak to them he empowers you to be bold before them and therefore do not fear persecutions and trials of life and may the holy spirit help you lord i thank you for the spirit of god who is at work today in giving us boldness and courage to do miracles and preach the gospel and to bring people to the faith of the lord jesus christ 
let it happen more and more in these days and bless the listeners of these meditations thank you lord we give you praise and glory in jesus name